Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are your R&D channel and if we got some cool stuff for you today, we are definitely doing some research and destruction. So this took us a while to put all this stuff together. So we got some Humvee ballistic glass. This is two and a half inches thick. The next coolest thing we got is from Ballistic Dummy Lab. This is their brand new synthetic bus. This thing has no shelf life. That means when you shoot it, you could stick it on the shelf and have a trophy for a long time other than their gelatin ones, which are an awesome product as well. But these things will last and not turn into a blob over time or mold. Other things we got going on here, we are going to be shooting two, two if we need, 338 Lapuas with armor piercing rounds. So what we're gonna do is downrange, which we'll show you in a minute, we already have another piece of glass set up. It is compromised with a few cracks, but eh, you know, it happens. We're gonna see if a regular 338 Lapua shooting 100 yards can go through this two inch ballistic, two and a half inch ballistic glass. I don't think it's gonna comment below, what do you think? If that doesn't work, then we're gonna try the AP round. Yes, we have 338 armor piercing rounds right here, folks. Will that go through? We don't know, we're gonna try. If it does not, we have, yes, two 338 Lapuas, Christensen Arms here, and a Savage, and we got two shooters, Justin and Derek. This is gonna be cool. They're gonna shoot it at the same time, at the same place to see if we can take out our bad guy here. And if that doesn't work, don't worry, we don't like to disappoint on this channel. We're gonna break out the 50 with an AP round, and I know this bad boy will go through it, so make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can see what happens. Now first, let's take a word from our sponsor, the coolest long distance camera on the planet, long shot camera systems. Here we go. All right, so this is what we got for you. Go out, buy your long shot camera system. Let's get going. All right, here's the setup we have down range. We are 100 yards. This glass is still the same thickness, but this was an older version that mounted from the inside of the Humvee. So it's on the backside. Uh, as you can see, it looks like it got hit with a, a 22 or something, the guy I bought it from, but it still has a lot of good area on it. And so Justin's gonna shoot over in this area here with just a regular ball round the first time so we can see what goes on. We have camera set up, we got brackets in the back. It is gonna move a little bit. For you guys out there that say, oh, it's moving and you're losing all this energy, I'd like you to prove that because I talked to several engineers and they said the interaction between the round and its target is over before the target starts moving because of the speed of the round. So yeah, you're still gonna get that energy that's gonna push it, but the initial hit, it's done and over with. If you think I'm wrong, comment below why, I'd like to know. So let's get going. All right, we're set up at 100 yards away. Got my trusty wind, wind meter. It's not the best. The breeze is picking up. We're gonna be shooting a 225 grain ball round. So I have not tried to fire with a 225, so it may change the trajectory, well, it will change the trajectory. Uh, one second, don't bite me, scope. Oh. 
Ooh, I definitely went a little higher than I wanted to, but it was a good piece of glass. But it made a nice dust cloud. I can't wait to see that. That's gonna be cool. Clear. Good shot, Justin. So this is his holdover. This is where he's aiming. And it was gonna, we knew it was gonna hit a little higher. So he hit where there was no cracks on the glass. Looks like a little butthole here. I, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but it really does. Balloon knot. It's a balloon knot. There you go. So check that out. And if you guys saw on the high speed camera, it, again, the only ones we're using today, these are iPhones in the slow-mo. Uh, it's too much overcast to use the high speed and we don't have extra lights. So we couldn't go with the, the true high speed camera. It did move it a little bit, but if you look at the high speed, the glass, it turned white and then it moved. So I think the theory of the interaction between the bullet and the target is over before the movement is true. Again, want to know what you guys think. It did not go through. There is a bulge on the back. If you want to come back here, Justin. Not much. Now on the back of this glass, there's the last piece is like a Lexan or something. So you, you can't feel any of the cracks or anything, but there is a slight bulge in here. So it did some good damage, but it didn't go through. All right, next shot up is the AP and uh, Justin's gonna shoot over at this side again where there's no compromised glass. Let's see if it goes through. All right, now it's time to switch to the 300 grain APs. Let's see if we can get that penetration. Seems to be going trend on this channel. Yeah, I know I have a bipod, but I prefer shooting bags while getting as low as possible. These bipods are too tall for me. I don't like to arch my back. All right, let me figure out my hold. All right, we're going hot. Ooh. Man, that's a beautiful glass cloud. That's what that is. Let's go check that out. Clear. Oh, never a dull moment here with Justin and Derek. Anyways, here we go, guys. Justin hit, again, it's a holdover. Hit a little bit higher than he was hoping, but still there was no uh, compromised glass here. And the dang thing went through. Okay, so 338 Lapua packs a punch. I did not think it was gonna go through. I hope a lot of you guys commented and say, it's not going through to make me feel good because now I was wrong. Okay, so the 338 Lapua will penetrate two and a half inches of ballistic glass, but still we wanna shoot our ballistic dummy lab bust with a new piece of glass He's gonna be sitting back here. We're gonna get the new glass mounted on this side, move this one, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna shoot two of them at him and see what happens. Hopefully they'll both hit him in the forehead. Just blow his skull up. Let's do it. Imagine a world where the US government left billions of dollars worth of up-armored equipment in Afghanistan and you had to go take out the bad guy. You're about to enter the bullshit zone. All right, now we're gonna do our uh, DP shot. What? Hi, I'm Derek. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Derek, he's a good friend of mine. He's gonna be our shooter, our second shooter. Zach couldn't make it today. But we're gonna be doing the two armor piercing 338s into that ballistic glass. And we're gonna time it as close as we can get to shoot at the same exact time. Here, let me put my foot against yours, so. I have the comfort of knowing you're there. Yeah. <laughs> you good to go? We'll go ahead and chamber it. Safety's off. I'm gonna start the countdown. Three, two, one, fire!
you shoot? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we timed it pretty good. That was awesome. I didn't even notice he shot. First time. <laughs> First yeah. time shooting a firearm. See, look at that. Clear. All right, that was really cool. You guys have got to give a thumbs up for that. They shot, pulled the trigger exactly at the same time. That was so cool. But check this out. Here's where they hit. So Derek, who just learned to shoot today, um, he shot dead center, unfortunately. But this is the weird thing. Justin hit up here. Now come around the backside, or at least stay over there. Let me show you guys this. So here's the entrance. And here's the exit. So look how far my fingers are off. So the glass actually made it come out slightly different. About... Can you hold it up above the target? It probably came down about two inches. So it came in and went down. Same thing for the upper shot here. If you look here, you can see they're, they're almost off just again by about yay by about two. So they went in and then they angled down. And here's what happened to our bad guy. Now he's really lucky I loaned him my sunglasses because it protect his eye from all the glass shards and everything. And you can see just the burn marks. He did, he's definitely bleeding. So one caught the ear and the other one, cause they both came out and went like at a down angle. So hit here and here. So, our bad guy lives again. However, <laughs> as I said, we don't like to disappoint on this channel. And we didn't bring the 50 all the way out here for nothing. So we are going to, we're just gonna hit it with the 50. Let's do it. All right, how about we send a good old AP 50 into our Mr. Guy over there. See if we can peel his muffin cap back blue. Got to get the correct holds here. There's nothing, none of our scopes are zeroed for some reason. It's not like we do this all the time. All right, I think I'm good. I'm gonna send it, bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, yes! I think he caught that one. Let's go check that out. <laughs> well, if you look at this, okay, this is where the guy's face was, right behind it. Um, we were shooting regular 50 BMG ball rounds and Justin figured out his hold and everything, but then we went to the AP and we didn't do a test with that because, you know, they're expensive and limited. So we hit right here and it did the same thing. It came out at a downward angle and then just took him out. That was amazing. Here it is, folks, the bad guy. And now we know, we know Ballistic Dummy Lab secrets. <laughs> you nasty little guys. Chris, Weston, what are you guys up to over there? What are you sending us? Why am I touching it? <laughs> so anyways, that's cool, man. Here's his brain, which um, was completely removed from his head. What's Almost. part of the skull? Almost surgical. Oh, man. Precision surgical. Hey, at least the guy can have an open casket. <laughs> his face is still pretty, but there you go. <laughs> Look at that, man. Entered right here, and then just, it was gone. Bad guy gone. But that's cool, because we can now stick him on our shelf, Justin, or we can use him for something later. We can just kind of, you know, do the comb over. <laughs> Gross. Good as new. Oh, man. 
That was awesome. All right, we got, we want to have fun. So here we're going to do some research for sure and destruction. What we're going to do is take this other piece of glass. We're going to mount it on the back side. Uh, these will be in the way a little bit. They'll be spaced because we couldn't get these brackets off. We didn't bring any uh, sockets to the range here, but we're going to set this one up and probably hit it on this side here. Looks like we can get all the glass. Let's do it, man. All right, let's see if this 50 BMG AP will penetrate the two layers of Humvee glass. Man, that was a solid thud. Clear, let's go check that out. Okay, those things hit a little high. Aim in here, hit here, no worries. It did penetrate through the first one, but our dead guy lives to tell another tale. The dead guy lives. The dead guy lives. The brainless dude. But look at the bulge on the back side of that. Again, this is the Lexan. Um, we'll take this apart and I'll show you. Well, this is plexiglass, Lexan, whatever. This is what's on this back side. Um, when the 50 went through that first one, it just shattered it off. But this is what's on the back. Again, makes it nice and smooth. You can rub your hand on it. No cracks, no nothing. But let's take this thing apart. Look inside. All right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Golly. All right, so that's where it came through. The glass up here was pretty good. And the glass up here was good. Somewhere oh, in there. That. Oh, there it is. It's backwards. Whoa, so it came in and then. It embedded backwards. Completely. Oh, that's weird. That's so cool. Let me see if it's Edwin hot. <laughs> nope. It's in there, huh? Dang, that thing is in there. So that thing. So it came through, it does its weird thing, and that's amazing. I'll tell you, I know if I was that guy and that happened to me, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> total pucker factor, poop the seat, the whole nine yards. Brawn pants. Oh yeah, brawn pants. Cool. Well, that was cool. I hope you guys like this test. We really want to thank Ballistic Dummy Lab for sending us this out. This thing's awesome. Definitely going to stick it on the shelf. Want to thank Long Shot Camera Systems. You guys have been great to us and we just really appreciate you guys. The camera is, it's an amazing camera, guys. We're gonna do a test on it. We found a range where we can do two miles and we're gonna, we're gonna put it to the test here. Uh, when we get back from SHOT Show, maybe we'll do a video on that. Hope to see you guys out there. If you're going to SHOT Show, look for Justin and I. We'd love to say hey to you guys. But thank you guys so much. Thank you to our patrons that you, you guys keep supporting us. We're just blessed and we thank you guys very much and we'll be back.